So yesterday, while I was working on my Halo Infinite map, I was putting down these terrain objects and um, noticed the problem. Uh, normally they seem to look like sand, but actually they got like a rock texture on it. Even if it doesn't show up, it uh, will always show up in-game and it doesn't look like you could change anything about it because it doesn't have any options to configure the textures on it. You can also go to biomes uh, terrain and then you will notice you've got two versions. One version is like the one with sand texture and rocks and the other one this weird brownish stuff. I don't know. It looks really weird. And what I wanted to do was turn it into sand, which I did here. It looks not not completely the same, but it, I think it's convincing enough. If you want to do this as well, you can go to the settings here. First, you will have to uh, remove the dirt, this weird stuff on it. So you can see the texture underneath and then you will have to select sand ripples a for all three you have to select the color i picked this orange here and now something important you can't see the color value unless you close the window and open it again. Now you can see the intensity. I set it to 0.33 for all three. The color spread is how much it mixes with the texture underneath. It slightly changes the color a bit, but it's not it's not very obvious. It became slightly more gray. It's not it's not that obvious. Set it to 70. Okay, now it looks somewhat convincing, I would say. Interesting thing to notice from afar, it looks pretty convincing. But as you get closer, you can see some weird purple and green pixels. I don't know why it does that, it's probably because um, of some weird color mixing in the textures. I don't know. I'm not 3 for 3. So now that we have this object, we can clone it and put it around these edges to make it look a little more convincing so that in a way the sand deposited on the side. The color is alright, you can also put on some effects like get the dirt back on to make it look a little bit more organic and not like one single color texture. I also did it with this one but it's worth noting that some of these uh, dirt textures have like a slight reflective texture. If you want to do like a grass texture you could also do it with this one. But it's also, it always involves a lot of fine-tuning, like you have to mess around with color intensity and color spread to sort of match the color you want. So you might have noticed that the texture has either sand ripples A or sand ripples B. B is an, like an inverted color, but it also mixes the color depending on the color spread and the intensity. Oh, and one more thing I wanted to mention, these three regions are like different different areas of the texture on, on this object. So you could actually change the values up slightly to also make it look a little bit different. 